you know, with model behaviors, we're looking for different, we're looking for different people, people that will inspire us and show us how to just really embrace life to the fullest. So we're driving to Oklahoma City today to meet Ryan Cunningham, an attorney by day. He started his practice at 26 years old, and um, he's been practicing law for about 20 years and on the side he does his artwork but his artwork is amazing and it's really truly his passion in life and I wanted to see like how people like Ryan who have these busy schedules I mean Ryan's married he has two three-year-old twin daughters and he still finds time to do his art like how how do you do it all how how do we become a renaissance person How do you balance? How do you balance life? As time goes on, you know, people change, and my life has changed a lot lately. I got married. We've had twins, uh, so there's, that creates a lot more demands on my time. And fortunately, I have a wife that's very supportive. One of my uh, good friends that I've met through art is Bob Ritter, who uh, lives in Santa Fe. I talked to him about it because he's older and he's been doing this for a lot longer. And he's told me that he likes to paint for a number of months and then take a, few, uh, take a number of months off. And then I can go to the park with my kids and go do things during the day on the weekends that aren't uh, sort of work related. And then when I come back to it, I have every bit as much enthusiasm and energy for the art as I did. That's such a great piece of advice. I mean, if you're gonna be doing a number of things, it's gonna take some organization. And so you're gonna have to block off some time. For me, I, I start to have some anxiousness if I don't have that kind of organization. I love your use of colors. They're so vibrant. They have so much depth to them. That's part of how I want to make the Native American and, and cowboy kind of uh, what I call my modern West a series of paintings. Uh, the modern part of it is the composition. It's generally one, uh, one subject matter. Bright colors, I think, help lend to that modern feeling when you're looking at, at my work. Maybe we should go to the Oklahoma Contemporary and can see where I began painting. Oh, I would love that. What's most important to me about this spot is, is that this is where I learned to paint. Really learning to paint with Bert and the work that I did here with him uh, is what gave me the ability to be an artist and, and to do what I'm doing today. So we could safely say that if you didn't have that time in these classes here, you might not be doing what you're doing today. Absolutely. You are also an attorney. Right. And so it's like this artist attorney is, you know, pretty incredible dynamic. There was like a sleepy period though for a while, right? Where you were just practicing law. Like what inspired you to get back in into art? I realized that I was I had always missed it. It was always something I was going to do. And uh, you know, I'd, I'd done a drawing here or there, but uh, when I was 34, uh, I'd been talking about it for uh, basically 14 years at that point. And uh, my mom uh, got involved and uh, she said, hey, you know what, um, Bert Seaburn is at, Oak, at City Arts Center, which is where we're standing now. They have classes here. And uh, my mom said, uh, you know, if, we, if I sign up for a class and uh, you know, pick you up, buy some paint and, and a brush and, and a canvas and I go with you, you know, would you, would you go? I kind of knew to try to grab this spot, so we're kind of standing at the spot where I, I painted a lot. There was, there was a time early on when uh, he kind of pulled me aside and he wanted to know, you know, what all this meant to me. I told him the truth, it was my favorite thing I'd ever done. I wasn't ready to show right away, but I knew at that moment that I was going to and uh, had this art show that was, uh, it was terrifying. <laughs> I felt like I was opening myself up to a lot of ridicule and, uh, and that it could be a really silly thing that I was doing, but uh, I jumped off the cliff, you know, and it was, it wound up that it was a, the right thing to do. <laughs> People are busy and we work these crazy hours and we're traveling and we're on social media and we're doing all of these things and it's 
important to also find that time for us and our space. Make, make us better, you know, inspire us because that's what life's about.